Is this the end of logo designers? One of my recent posts on social media went viral where I used ChatGPT's 4O image generator to generate high quality and professional logos in a matter of minutes. And that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So be sure to stick around till the very end. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for that in the video description or pinned comment below. Now, before I dive in and start generating logos, I do recommend that you are at least subscribed to ChatGPT Plus for this. Yes, you can generate images on the free version of ChatGPT, but it will be extremely slow. You'll probably run out of credits. I would just recommend being on ChatGPT Plus if you wanna generate images with the 4.0 model. Now in this first example, I'm going to show you how you can redesign any existing logo. And what I'm going to use in this example is the logo of a local meal prep company where I live in Des Moines, Iowa called Fresh Fit Meals. And so here's Fresh Fit Meals. I took their logo from their website, uploaded it into ChatGPT. And then what I'm going to do first is prompt it with the following. I've uploaded my current company logo. Now generate an advanced prompt I can use for a higher quality logo. Don't create an image, I just need a prompt. A few important notes here. Number one, I'm on GPT 4.5. I'm not using GPT 4.0 in this instance. You can, but in my experience, you will get better outputs using GPT 4.5 or the 01 model when you're looking for advanced prompts. And so I'm going to click enter. And the reason I'm doing this is versus just coming in here and saying, create me a new logo. By using 4.5 or 01 and asking for an advanced prompt first, this gives ChatGPT the ability to analyze all the different elements of that logo and come up with a more advanced prompt that we can copy and paste into a new chat. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here shortly. But you'll see here it is crafting an advanced logo prompt based on my existing logo that I uploaded. So I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this final logo prompt is complete. All right, so once this prompt is complete, then what you wanna do is copy and paste this new prompt. Now, if you don't like it, you can read it, maybe fine tune some things until you perfect it. But in this example, I'm just gonna copy and paste this prompt, open a new chat, and then we wanna go back to the 4.0 models. That's how you use the image generator. Then what I'm going to do is upload that same logo of Fresh Fit Meals. I'm gonna come back to this tools icon, click create image, that'll initiate the image generation. Then I'm going to copy and paste that advanced prompt from the previous chat. Then I'm going to click enter and I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this new logo is complete. All right, so after a few minutes, this is the logo that ChatGPT's 4.0 image model created. Now, is this perfect? No, it's not bad by any means. I actually like the original logo better with that Apple icon here, but this is definitely something that you can use, upload to Photoshop, upload to Canva, maybe fine tune it, make it a little nicer here and there. But the fact that I'm trying to show you is, is I literally just designed this in two minutes versus before it would take a graphic designer to make something like this where it would cost hundreds, you're waiting weeks and deliverables. And now we have this technology where we can literally redesign logos in a matter of two minutes like I just did here. I went ahead and did another one. This actually came from the 01 model versus GPT 4.5. And this is what it came up with. It looks very similar to the original Fresh Fit Meals logo, but again, it's not bad. I mean, it got all the text spelled correctly. It has the colors that are pretty pretty close. It has the Apple icon that I like. So again, not bad. Now I did run this for another local business nearby called Tire Heroes. They're a mobile tire shop. I was super impressed with these results. I uploaded the existing logo of Tire Heroes, which could use some work in my opinion, came up with this advanced prompt. Then I plugged that in into another chat. And this is the logo that the 4.0 image model came up with from the existing Tire Heroes logo. I'm gonna show you that again really quickly. So here is the original logo of Tire Heroes that they're using right now. I went ahead and did the same process. And this is the new logo that ChatGPT came up with. Nothing is misspelled. 
The colors are the same. It looks way more modern, way more professional. This is a high quality logo. The other ones, I mean, you can kind of go back and forth on with Fresh Fit Meals, but I'm just showing you a, just a few quick examples of how you can use this technology to redesign logos in a matter of minutes, making sure they're still professional, they're still high quality without paying hundreds, if not thousands for graphic designers. So now I'm gonna show you another example that's a little more advanced. And in this instance, I'm going to be using the logo of the college that I went to, which is called the University of Northern Iowa. And so what I did here was the exact same process that I showed you in the first method. I went ahead and got an advanced prompt. I copy and pasted that advanced prompt, uploaded the existing logo, and this is the logo that I got right here. Not bad at all, but I was like, you know what? I don't like that shield in the background, so I told it to remove the shield, and this is the logo that I got on the second revision. And by the way, this is one of the logos that helped me go viral on social media, and I got a lot of death threats and you know hate messages and whatnot. I'll leave this link in the description below if you guys want to check it out and have a good laugh, but that's another conversation for another day. So once I got that logo, this is where the secret sauce kicks in. Then I said, create a prompt for this logo if I ever want to create it again. So then it generated a two paragraph prompt based on this logo. And so now what I can do is I can take this prompt, open up a brand new chat in chat GPT. And let's say I want to redesign another logo or create another logo from scratch. So here I'm using the Iowa Hawkeyes logo as an example. This is where I hope you guys are still following along here. I know I'm probably missing a couple things as I talk pretty fast, but this is what I did now. So I got this new logo, copy and pasted it, opened a new chat in chat GPT, uploaded a new logo that I want to redesign of the Iowa Hawkeyes. And I said, I'm looking to redesign a higher quality logo for this university. Generate an advanced image prompt to make it more modern and professional. Here's the kicker here. I said, prompt to repurpose for this logo. This is exactly the same prompt that I got on the previous chat. And so what ChatGPT is doing is it's taking this prompt that I know produces high quality logos and it's using the attached image here and it's creating another prompt geared towards that image. And so then what you would do is take this prompt, open up a new chat in ChatGPT 4.0, create another image, upload the existing logo, copy and paste that prompt, and this is what I got as the result. A high quality logo in my opinion. Obviously some people who are Iowa fans don't like this, but I think it's hard to dispute that this is a high quality logo, especially considering the fact that it took me two minutes to generate it. And so that's the, that's the more convoluted process to getting higher quality logos. And so what you could do going forward if you ever wanna design another logo, and it's a, is you can copy and paste a prompt that you know creates high quality outputs. So I know this is a high quality output. And so I wanna get a prompt for how I can create this again in the future. So I'll save that somewhere, right? Like on a spreadsheet or something where I have all these prompts saved. And then if I wanna use this again, I'll copy and paste this and I'll just do what I showed you previously, repurpose this prompt and it'll come up with a new one that I can copy and paste and upload into another chat. Now I know I'm kind of sounding convoluted and all over the place, but let me know in the comments below if you guys understand where I'm going with this, as that is how you can generate high quality logos using ChatGPT's 4.0 image generator. And by the way, I have no design background. This is just me doing trial and error with all sorts of different prompts, testing things, failing, going back and just reiterating certain things. Now, in addition to ChatGPT's 4.0 image generator, there are some other AI tools that I wanna let you know about that are still high quality image generators. One of those being Google's AI Studio. Now, this isn't terrible. I copy and pasted the exact same prompt that I used on ChatGPT for the new Tire Heroes logo, but it's not bad. And in my opinion, just a pro tip here, if you're gonna use Google's AI Studio, its best feature or best attribute is editing existing images. So when I uploaded this image of a Mr. Beast thumbnail, for instance, and I say replace this attire with a tuxedo, you'll see how it went from that image to this image, and there's no flaws with that whatsoever. So when it comes to editing existing images, Google's AI Studio is probably the best tool for that right now. Another free AI image generator that I've been very impressed with is Reeve. I'll leave links to these in the description below so you guys can try these. This 
This is completely free to use. Some of these logos, like of Tire Heroes, for instance, very impressed by this. This is one that I would definitely use if I were a business. Same with some of these other outputs. It can generate up to eight images at once, I believe. Yeah, eight. You'll see I got four at once. So I like these Tire Heroes logos. But when it comes to realism and the realism of these AI images, this is where Reef stands out. Notice how realistic these images of elephants are. Or what about these headshots, right? I mean, extremely realistic compared to some of the other AI image generators of cities. So here's some other headshots here. Very hard to distinguish if some of these are real or not. Uh, so when it comes to realism, that's the element where Reef stands out in my opinion. So that's a quick tutorial on how you can use ChatGPT's 4.0 image generator to create these high quality and professional logos in a matter of minutes without spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on a logo designer going back and forth for revisions, deliverables, and so on and so forth. And if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. If you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know your thoughts on AI logos in the comments below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.